Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, in deck number 946, we're going to put Sadness on the stack. But first, we are going to uh, thank our all of our patrons. Thank you for uh, subscribing. Y'all make this journey possible. Thank all y'all for watching, liking, subscribing, and our good partners out there at Dragon Shield. Now, this deck is in Dragon Shield Pink Diamond Mat. Uh, they are found at your local game store. Uh, pretty much in any friendly local game store should have them. Uh, if not, you can come on down to Jackson, Tennessee and to Kansas Collectible Games. I've got them. But anyway, let's talk about attraction. Because you all know the attachment that I personally have to the character At Atraxa. Uh, Atraxa is deck number one. The very first Atraxa is deck number one years ago. And I have since updated that deck two or three times. I've done several different videos on Atraxa. Um, and we got Atraxa 2.0. Okay, and then I read it, and I'm like, oh, they did my girl wrong. Not saying it, it's not a good card. It is a good card, but it's, I don't know, it was not what I was looking for for Atraxa. So, for seven mana, three green, blue, black, Green, white, blue, black. I'm sorry. That is a that casting cost asks an awful lot. So we get a seven seven. Okay, she's bigger. Gotcha. She still has flying, vigilance, death touch, and lifelink. But when Atraxa enters the battlefield, reveal the top ten cards of your library. For each card type, you may put a card of that type from among the revealed into your hand. So yes. It is not a cash trigger, it's an ETB trigger. I know the correct way to do it would have been to blink spells and uh, dead eye navigators and uh, to take advantage of getting all of those. And I think that's what they're doing in other formats, i.e. Uh, modern and what's that one that... Yeah, anyway. There are other formats? What? <laughs> and I know that that's the way to do it. And we are all in the right colors to do it. But that is not what I did. I have never done four-color Angel Tribal. You still here? Okay. Because I figure a lot of y'all done clicked off by now. Uh, but Angel Tribal. Because we don't get to do a lot with uh, four-color angels. Now, the green angel pool is pretty slim. As a matter of fact, I don't think I have any. Uh, the two cigardas are about it. But green is our ramp color, right? So, let's look at our ramp section, which, I'll be honest with you, I may be too much. I may cut some of this as I get more angels, but this is a bunch. We're going to power through this. We have Soul Ring, Felwar Stone, Nature's Lore. A lot of our uh, dual type lands, or multi type lands, I made sure to have forest in them. Uh, Far Seek, Rapid Growth, Bloom Tender, I really like in four color decks, obviously, you know. Uh, Bloom Tender, an awful lot like Faber or Elder. The Chromatic Lantern helps a bunch. Uh, Urza's Incubator, there's no other way for me to look at that other than it's ramp, right? It's going to make our angels cheaper. Um, Spectral Searchlight, which can probably go. That'll be the first one I, I cut for another angel. Uh, the Arcane Signet, Burnished Heart, Cultivate, Search for Tomorrow, Ingot, Migration Path, uh, Explosive Vegetation, Hour of Promise. Now, I like Marari's Wake. It fits the deck perfect, uh, it, you know, and it makes your dudes bigger. Uh, Defense of the Heart. Now, this is... Uh, you get free creatures? Is that ramp? I'm, I'm going to say it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Defense of the Heart is an amazing magic card. Uh, got a little bit of draw, you know, Read the Bones, Frantic Search. 
a stroke of genius. Yeah, stroke of genius. A little bit. <laughs> but let's look at our tribe, shall we? Uh, we're gonna, are these in casting cost order? Well, I'll be dang. That was accidental. Okay, so we're going to start with Giada. No, it's not another Giada deck, but she's a really good angel. And Giada may actually end up being the key to the whole thing. Of the whole Phyrexian invasion of the multiverse, whatever. It, it all may come down to her. Uh, Resplendent Marshall. Why are we just like bouncing? No bounce. No bounce. Lulu! It's an elephant angel. <laughs> blinding angel. Now, blinding angel is... This card has largely been forgotten in Commander. I'm telling you, this is a beating. Because it, it's not but two damage. But it takes away their combat step. And there are ways to just, you know, make sure it's unblockable or whatnot. Uh, that's not here, but ah, Blinding Angel is real good. Uh, Bane Flayer, uh, of course, is amazing. Selenia Dark Angel, this was one of those half twos. I have to have it in there. Uh, she's not amazing. Uh, she's old and all, on the reserve list. Um, you know, you can pay two life power back to your hand if that's a thing that needs to happen. Laisa, Angel of Destiny. Karmic God, Lyra Dawnbringer. This is, I mean, had to be in there, right? Oh, hey, I did get a, a Cigarda host of herons. Uh, Cigarda's Vanguard, that 30th anniversary Sarah Angel. Oh, oh, no, 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 not that 30th anniversary. The pre-release ones, you know, that you get out, uh, that you get at your pre-releases. Yeah, yeah. Whew. No, no, don't want no part of that. Windshaper Plantar, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong, uh, <laughs> but I like this one because it's a great combat trick. We have Sarah's Guardian, uh, you know, giving your team vigilance seems pretty good. Rudolph Dustbringer, a vampire angel. Good old-fashioned Platinum Angel. Sarah's Emissary, there again, oh, so good. Uh, Angel of Serenity. Iridescent Angel. We don't get to use this one a lot because not a lot of Angel decks have blue. So, Iridescent Angel. Safara, the Sky's Blade. Other creatures you control with flying have indestructible. Wow. Oh, that all makes sense. Okay. You remember all the mana rocks? And all that land search. Well, yeah. Desolation Angel. Desolation Angel is a risky, risky business to be in. Uh, because your first thought is, oh, it's five mana, five, four, flyer. No. No, it's not. You pay the kicker every time. This is one of those cards, there's no option. You got to pay it. Because if not, you just lose. When Desolation Angel comes into play, destroy all lands you control. What? If you paid the kicker, instead, destroy all lands. So she's a 5-4 flyer for 7 mana with a stapled Armageddon onto her. That's why I put in all those. It's been a while since I've actually built this one. I've, I've built like 15 decks since I actually built this one. So Then we have a Rhea, uh, of course, to get things back. And then, personal favorite, a Chroma Angel of Wrath. Now, we got a few things to help our tribe, right? Uh, I really, really like Reflections of Lijara, because, uh, yeah, you copy it. Uh, there's a lot of legends in there, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, Icon of Ancestry helps our tribe, uh, as does the Obelisk of Erd. Make it a big. Door of Destinies fits perfectly in any uh, high mana cost tribe. Like, I, I don't recommend it for, you know, Elves, goblins, because by the time you get to four mana, you've done played out most of your hand anyway. But the the door in a tribal angels or demons or dragons or something like that, it just scales up. I, I mean, you 
play your door, and then then you're ready to start playing your tribe, right? Like four or five mana. Mm -hmm. Cryptic Gateway. Well, because that's an instant speed ability, folks. So, uh, it you know, if in response, if you've got two little angels out there and you've got Safara in your hand, um, in response to your attackers, I'm just going to bloop. Yeah. Eerie Interlude to blink them all. Yes, it, it does help with the commander. I probably should have done more of this type of effect. Uh, and then uh, the Eternal Wanderer to blink, obviously, our commander. Um, now, let's look at some removal. Uh, every once in a while, you have to have an offer that you can't refuse. A Sword to Plowshare. Negate. I tried to stay away from anything that was, because we already have a lot in our creature suite, a lot of things that are double pipped, so I didn't want an actual counter spell. Negate is fine, um, because I was concerned about the blue blue. Now, Dovin's Veto, sure, sure, it's not two of the same. Uh, Fracture, Disenchant, Vindicate. And merciless eviction. Now we're going to go through a hefty amount of basic land or non-basic lands here, so we're going to try to push all the air out. Okay, do we got a bunch? Treva's ruins, terramorphic expanse, unclaimed territory. Path of Ancestry works perfectly because, you know, tribal and whatnot. Exotic Orchard. Evolving Wilds. Command Tower. The Bright Climb Pathway. We can use both sides, obviously. Sunken Hollow. Hinterland Harbor. Tango Islet. Tango Pool Bridge. There's, you know, you saw the need for artifacts. Oh, hey! Getting real close to that Tango Pool Bridge. Botanical Plaza, Canopy Vista, Thornwind Bridge, Irrigated Farmland. As I said, I wanted a lot of these to have the land types, and that's why I, I, I did that way. Prairie Stream, Razor Tide Bridge, Woodland Chasm, and finally our Haunted Mire. And that is Atraxa, Four Color Angels. I know it is probably not the uh, optimal build for Atraxa. Um, well, there's no probably to it. I know it's not. But that's what I did. Um, I know that there are Blink-tastic decks out there, and you can do all kinds of silly stuff. Um, but let's face it. I don't do what the normal is anyway, right? <laughs> anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all so much. But right now, we're going to shuffle and cut.